2022 Christmas Village full tutorial series and now and now I must absolutely forget that I have 10,000 tasks still open such as the stairs such as the couple of steampunk street lamps such as the wall here that I need to complete first before completing everything else are there judging staring at me and i need to focus at least on two new tasks first one no second one let me talk before about the second one the second one will be a new teamed section a new teamed feature dedicated to another victorian era novelist not the same novelist, another one, always from that period of time. It will take me an average amount of time, between 10 to 15 hours, maybe less to complete, a new type of fence, something in the middle, something in the back, uh, even more complicated things, but not at that level there. And then the first new task it is called three ring circus if i'm correct i started talking to you about my idea of focusing my entire new project on a three ring circus around mid january late january 2022 eight months ago and I spent all the last winter modeling and 3D printing a bunch of circus figures and I've already shown them to you. But now it is time to put them to work. But at that time, the other craziest idea of Integrating some parts of a steampunk into the layout wasn't even there. And now this problem is starting to drill my skull here 24 hours a day because I need to rearrange completely my idea. It, it, it will not work with a steampunk, a classic a three ring circus. And I will try to be more precise in just some minutes when I will talk to you intensively about that. And the, this three ring circus, it will, it will, it still will be a three ring circus, but it will take me Four times the amount of hours dedicated to Jules Verne to 20,000 leagues under the seas there. 27 hours, multiply that by four at least. It will be a huge, a huge task to, to, to do. I don't say to complete, because I don't know if I will complete it or I will surrender before every uh, Christmas village uh, producer builders such as Limax such as Lemax Limax Lemax I never know how to, pro to pronounce it or department 56 or uh, Dickens villages never did a, a circus but what is uh, Christmas without a circus Yes, they have on catalog uh, some clowns with balloons, a little uh, 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 ring master without any other uh, figurines from a circus. 
and the only attempt of doing a Christmas circus building from Limax uh, is with Barry Brothers Big Top, I think. Yes, I think that is the correct name. Uh, Limax Limax 55918 item. Maybe I will show it to you right now. Hey guys, that building is only 28 centimeter, centimeters long. This ruler is 30 centimeters. So from here to here, an entire circus tent and not a simple ring tent because you have you can see from the images that the, it is at least a two ring circus with four five figurines three in the center if i remember correctly uh, some <clears throat> clowns uh, uh, playing some musical instruments and uh, some more attraction two or three attraction getting around them all along that time and some uh, uh, trappers yes and some uh, yes a couple of trappers uh, getting uh, um, swinging from left to right on the top of the uh, tent and uh, some tickets and popcorns in the front that's all an entire circus in just one building the only attempt so that was why I wanted a three ring circus to avoid that emptiness caused by the non presence of a, a, a circus or a, a, a circus related figurines. But now I'm starting to understand why they never produce such an item. Um, and I will explain to you in some minutes. <laughs> it will be a huge, as I said, building, not a classic circus tent. Good. Three ring circus and I have already prepared some of my little friends there, but just allow me to spend a few more minutes on that. On Jules Verne, on Vingt Milieu Sous Les Mers, on 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas. Why I choose to start with that novelist and that book? First, without knowing it, Jules Verne was a steampunk novelist. No, was the steampunk novelist. All his books, all his novels are filled with uh, steam, steam power, electricity, uh, mechanism, cogs, gears, etc. <laughs> it was in plain middle of Victorian era. It was accompanied by Tesla, by Edison, and so on. And it was deep into science. Science fiction novelist, yes, not entirely, because he wrote even about uh, society, but it was the master of steampunk, even if steampunk <laughs> came way later, in the late 1980s. But guys, I love this novelist, and that first homage to the steampunk was absolutely necessary. Um, that said, maybe, oh yes, why that? The bronze one is a submarine, yes, it is Captain Nemo's Nautilus, attacked by the giant squid there. Pure, pure steampunk. If you think that that submarine was powered by alternative ways, 
not else than maybe depicted like a nuclear submarine in the real in the only real decent movies with Kirk Douglas I think yes um in almost more than 50 years ago but that Nautilus there is also pure steampunk that said let me focus on those little guys there and why I put them there on the right because my three ring circus will be there <laughs> not just like that my initial idea was to have the three ring circus going for from at least that point there down all that section way over the stairs having one big ring there another big ring there and the third there with all the rest on the right and on the left dedicated to uh, circus trainings circus uh, stands and etc and all along the other levels all the other buildings so an entire project focused on that three ring circus a ring two ring three ring giant circus tent going up red and white maybe blue and white i already had my found my um, fabric for the tent but i forgot about it <laughs> in the same moment that idea get inside here got inside here sorry let's back to that let me show you one thing just i took four of them two lions a tiger and uh, uh, the lion tamer because it is um, the group that will take the biggest space in a ring normally you have a ring sorry it is very crude but effective i mark it here a 21 centimeter perimeter with one and a half centimeters from the borders representing the big circle the big ring that needed to delimitate the public from the uh, ring itself okay and i will try to put simply four figurines inside this ring here I'm here guys uh, keeping in mind that other than the ring the delimitation of the ring I will need also a cage this ring cannot exist without a cage a cage so let me just place them there maybe in placing in front of the camera like that having them space for everyone I don't know if I can show you everyone let me see what you are seeing right now uh, no the tiger is not entirely visible It's a matter of uh, placing uh, everything a single one. So, four figurines, standard figurines, inside a 21 centimeter uh, um, mm, uh, diameter ring, having also three mils, three millimeters 
of space allowing me to build a cage around. This is possible. Good. Possible, yes. The easiest solution was to go with a 25 centimeter diameter ring like that. But I forgot about the question of space. I will not do a standard three ring. One ring here, the same one here, and the other in the middle and going on. I will concentrate everything in here. How? Having... Uh, you know that I love triangles. Let me just slide this and maybe going like that and then going like that. It is still a three ring circus, but condensed. Yes, I'm hearing you. Where is the public? If the camera point right here, how I can get the attraction that will be in here and here. And the tent? No, let's forget about the tent. That is my idea. How will I proceed? Let me slide it. And just look at the perimeter here. This can be included in one bigger ring. Let me remove those two. Oops. Let me slide a little bit this one. Let me place this big monster here, okay, in here. Geometrically doable. I will re-slide once again this. I'm not uh, centering anything right now. like that more of a shape of a big circuit with place for public here and there circular or uh, demicircular half circular benches still needed to work on them doable here here and here and, guys, all that will turn around. That's why I choose to go that solution. And that's, I told you. So this will go. Like this, not very quickly. And so every attraction from the camera here will be visible. Yes, I needed to have a motor down there and I will have some mechanism still to build. I'm thinking about it. That's why I say this is drilling my skull constantly. This is a solution. Those one will not turn on themselves the middle 
will be attached to a motor and this will turn around. This with some more lights, etc. But this is open. It's not a circus. No, it will be a steampunk circus. Let me do something more craziest. Let me slide this entire structure here. Let me take the last circle, the biggest one, okay? I don't remember exactly, I think that will be 56 centimeters in diameter. Yes, 56 centimeters, guys. This will be the base of all the perimeter, the outside perimeter, 56. With this inside, Underneath it is something that will provide movement. The base here will not turn. The inside, the middle will turn. Everything will turn. So why having this with three more centimeters? If I'm correct, this is 53 centimeters and this is 56. I can't leave that open. I need a tent, I already said no. How will I cover it? With a dome, guys. A dome, yes. Here, having 56 centimeter of diameter, but not a classic dome. And allow me this term, maybe I will, and I will explain to you in some minutes. I will use a geodesic dome, guys. Uh, it is a dome, essentially. Very easily buildable if you know how to build it. And uh, it will also be transparent. So, not like a secret circus tent where everything is closed. Just enter and watch no steampunk completely different see through dome very complex to do yes i know but not a dome simply applied there this will be an open circus i will like i i will have i think arts in there with many times getting lights inside and then on top of that, my geodesic dome. By the way, geodesic domes are very common everywhere for, I don't know, uh, parks, gardens, observatory. Very cheap, but uh, invented during the uh, World War I. So, Mm, 19, 1920, so even that it was Victorian era, late Victorian era, almost not no more Victoria, I know, but let's say it is a continuity of Victorian era. So a geodesic different, but not standard geodesic dome, it will have plenty of touch of steampunk. And uh, so all will be visible inside the dome, through the dome. But here, you can see that from here to there, I just have, I think, 45 centimeters, 49 centimeters. I don't want to go over this line here. I want to have it there. But I will need to add here the level. So, first, 
layout uh, modification, first layout change of this season, I will need to have some more 12 centimeter supports here. And a way to climb to it, this will be on a corner of that, but here will, will, I will have this 56 centimeters in diameter circus, steampunk circus. It will take an exaggerated amount of space. I'm, I'm saying too much frequently exaggerated. I need to forget that. But it is taking very uh, a, um, a lot of space. <laughs> Let's say it like that. It will take a lot of space. That's why I expanded this here. Less than the three ring, the three rings, the classic three ring circus with one ring, two ring, and three ring. That's why the stairs are is there now. Uh, originally, it would have been here the stairs with the circus starting here, then there, then continuing, then uh, circus the wagons, uh, etc. As I already told you. What will I use my, my uh, styrofoam, my 9mm styrofoam, but it, this is huge. I will need to compose, like I did in this case with some paper, this ring and cut it too. Those will be easily done, but I simply will do, I will simply do the little ring here, the limiting center of the seat. Then the cage, bamboo, I think, bamboo skewers, and uh, also uh, the geodesic dome will be mm, built upon bamboo skewers with the help of some hubs, some joint, joint hubs, uh, 3D printed. I could have done it with simply some glue and some tape, maybe, yes, I've experimented it, but just simply having a 3D printer. But I could have also printed everything with a 3D printer, joining piece by piece. No, this time, this year, this season, I mix them together. Normal work, normal techniques with some help of 3D printing. And uh, next I will start doing the dome thing, uh, the geodesic dome guys, and I will start talking to you about the geodesic dome. Very strange way to start this uh, part 8, but this uh, was a big problem for me. And the back is still the, a big problem. I need to use this space here, avoiding to go here, because I don't have the depth, because I will have the train undergoing there, to hide the motor inside this piece of styrofoam here, and the motor is to be very thick. Then a way of controlling the, um, the speed of the motor, I, because I don't want a static uh, a uh, single speed motor, I needed to calibrate how this will, will go. Then, on top of the, of, the, of the dome, of the geodesic dome, something uh, very dangerous, yes, more dangerous than usual, but this will be done in, I think, four parts, but it will be dangerous, but giving that a great effect. And the dome, guys, I forgot that. If the diameter is 56 centimeters and the dome is half a sphere, the dome will be 28 centimeter, half a sphere tall. Plus, what I will add, this will add me having this as a full background, because I have the doors here 
there I will have my standard background. This corner here is always the problem of not having a decent background. I will build maybe one with some uh, panels, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with some styrofoam panels, but this will, having 28 centimeters of eight, this will be uh, an, an improvement for the background. This said, guys, uh, let's start producing something. And guys, the new timid section will be on the opposite corner down there. Okay, there. Second level, opposite corner. This is right here, first the timid section. The second one will be on the far left corner not overlapping the the railroad because I will have buildings I will have the station no the station may be at that level there down there but the second team section will be there not as shocking as this one but also shocking and let's get to work on the, geome the geodesic dome, guys, sorry. So guys, I choose a dome, a geodesic dome, as a cover for my circus, three ring circus instead of a tenth Why? It's strange, it's steampunk, it's crazy, and despite what you may think, it's also easy to build just needed to explain and as this is a tutorial sometimes let me explain very easily as simple as I can as easily as I can the theory behind geodesic and domes the story the history <laughs> go and check for the history um, but uh, Everyone knows what is a sphere, okay? A sphere. And everyone knows what happens when you cut in half a sphere. You get half a sphere. Buh. But imagine that that sphere is a shell. So a little thickness and then empty inside like a Christmas ball, for example. It's still a sphere, very delicate, very fragile, but still a sphere. Cut it in half, you get half a sphere, obviously, but you also get a dome, a cover and emptiness inside. You can put whatever you want inside. If the dome is transparent, you get a see through. If not, you simply cover something. Uh, very, very simple. Geodesic dome. So a dome, I've stated, a geodesic. Geodesic domes are domes made with triangles. Okay? A sphere can be made with triangles. Let, I will explain it to you. A geodesic dome is also called a polyhedron. <laughs> what is a polyhedron? You know that in geometry you have polygons in the plane, in flatland, okay? Pentagon, pentas, and five segment hexagon x six those are Greek terms I know six six okay five six segments those are regular polygons because they have a segment and precise segments Let's talk only about regular polygons 
and regular polyhedrons. This is a flatland. Unfortunately, we don't live in fat flatland. We live in the world. The world is not two dimension x and y. It is x, y, and z. X, y, and z. The term. Okay, already explained this many times. Those are regular polyhedrons in the space. So with a volume, this is flat, those have volume. Tetrahedron, similar to a pyramid, but it's not a pyramid. Okay, tetra. Tetra tetra in Greek is four. One, two, three, four. Okay? No, three. One, two, three. A cube, you know a cube, four, one, two, three, four. Octahedron, eight segments, two pyramids, put one on top of the other, tetras, four. Yes, it is four because octa is eight, tetra is four. Sorry, I starting, I'm starting <laughs> forgetting my uh, Greek. Dodecahedron, twelve faces in this case. 1, 2, 3, and 4, cube 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even if it is octas, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, up and down, divided by 2, tetras 4, 1, 2, and the triangle the, is back there, and the 4 is down. Dodecahedron 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on the other side, another 6. Ecosahedron 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. Ecos 20. Dodecas 12. Octa 8. Cube, yes, it's called cube, but it's 6 faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's right, 4. Polyhedron in space. So, geodesic dome, it is a polyhedron. This means a sphere made with triangles. And it is possible, guys, a sphere made with triangles cut in half, a dome. And one is gone. A dome, a, um, a geodesic dome is always indicated with frequencies. Let's talk very easily, very quickly about frequencies. This is a one frequency. A triangle, each segment, each side, has just one long segment. Okay? Two frequencies, each triangle, is subdivided in two triangles. Look at this side. In, in the middle you have one and two, one and two, one and two. So putting another triangle in the middle, you will subdivide each, um, each side in two. Frequency three, adding two more triangles, each side one, two, three divided by three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. A frequency of four, each side here is divided by one, two, three, four segment, one, two, three, four segment, five segment, six segment, frequency. The more you subdivide the main triangle composing a sphere, a dome, Many triangles, okay, and I will show you some, some schematics. Let's go, okay, some schematics. Here it is a dome, a three frequency dome, so it's not very clear. Um, this is a dome composed by triangles, okay, and a frequency tree, tree it means that the main triangle is subdivided in three okay three the main triangle it is this face here this big face here 
can see. Uh, I forgot a pen. Let's go to pencil. This big triangle here has one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three segments for the main structure of the face. More complex, but each time you add a segment, you approach a more round shape. Okay? You approach a more round shape. I will try to explain with this other diagram. This is a three frequency. Here it is a sample of a dome built with one frequency, simple triangles, not very round. The shape, you may see the each triangle is here, one, two, three, four, five, etc. So a dome can be built upon one frequency triangles. So the main face is composed by one single triangle. This is a two frequency dome and I will go to build this one because it's the simplest, easiest to achieve but it's not that perfectly round, okay? But generally you find on the market plenty of those uh, little uh, domes there, uh, two frequency domes, very easily built. A sun, something for the winter, something to cover your pond, something to cover your, I don't know, your vegetable garden in plain winter, just filtering the sunlight and not the cold. Those are uh, very frequent on the market. This is a two frequency triangles. You may see that the main side is one and two, one and two, one and two. It's like that, having the main triangle bent a little towards the top, this is the base, then the part that is this triangle here has been bent towards the top, getting a round, a more round shape. If you use a one, two, three, four, five, six frequency triangle, each main phase, and this is the clearest one, is divided by six. The sphere, the alpha sphere, the dome, is rounder and rounder. But this is complex, because you may think that every triangle is an equilateral triangle. No. Here, you have differences. Length. A, red one, has a length. B, has another length. C, as another land. So very complex structure to build beyond the two frequency. Imagine six frequencies with six different lands. The schematics will be almost impossible, so you need a computer to build it each time. But this one, not difficult. You can reach a good result of a door. This say, I think, I will check the camera for it. And let's proceed, let's proceed. So, I say, I will build a two frequency dome, geodesic dome. So a dome made with triangles. And this will be the main schematics, and I will explain. It's not that difficult, guys. Believe me, you will understand. Um, the main triangle here, it's the big red one you, want, you see here. It's divided in two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? The main triangles. The blue triangles are, this one, for example, is an equilateral triangle. So, each side has the same length, each angle has the same value. The sum of the tri of a triangle um, angles is 180 degrees, 
So 60, 60 and 60. The other triangles composing the main structure are isosceles triangles. So two sides are the same length. The other one is longer. Just remember, in this old build, building, blue is long, red is short, and you can see it through this, that, um, that red here, uh, horizontally speaking, is under the blue, so it is inclined here, okay? It is inclined, so the distance between here and there is, is uh, um, higher than this one, okay? Inclined. Isosceles, so two angles have uh, the same number, uh, the same value, and the other one is um, bigger. This is the main structure. The main points here is are those one look one two and three. Okay guys, those are the focus points, those are the joining points points. In geodesic domes the segments are called struts. S T R U T S S T R U T S Strut Struts The joining points or what is used to join those points are called a nut, such as a, a train hub uh, with a center with many ways getting to that center, okay, and hub like a subway for uh, the cities that have a subway. A hub is where they are covering many roads or many lines, okay? Those joining points are important, okay? When putting this together, People think, okay, it's impossible to join. No, because uh, the length is done. And by the way, guys, I haven't calculated the length of each segment. You simply need to know the radius or the diameter of the base of your dome. And there are calculators already made online that will tell you exactly the length of A blue and the length of B very easy I will put some links uh, down below maybe also this is all schematics I will put it uh, once I uh, finished doing this so very easy my intention was to have a 56 centimeter diameter dome as I stated some minutes ago that I put on one simple spot of this calculator, 56, and I got the length of this A and the length of this B. The rest, the joining points, for two frequency, they are all the same. The number of joining points is stated and also the number of joining points for the 3 frequency, the 4 frequency, the 6 frequency, etc, etc. So, nothing to invent, nothing to calculate. How can you join? And once you have put this segment here and going up with the next one, it easily you can not do it. But it may seem difficult. In online, you will find plenty of uh, uh, tutorials explaining you that you must first build some hexagon, then some pentagons. Look here, a, 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 a. It is a pentagon. Inside, you have one, two, three, four, five. 
but you also have hexagon guys. Look here, one, two, three, four, five, six lateral, okay? A mix of blue and red, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is an hexagon and the center is one, two, three, four, five, six struts, six segments converting to this point. Here we have five converting here. One, two, three, four, five. This is a pentagon. But this once again, red and blue, is an hexagon. The middle, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is an hexagon made with triangles. So uh, you will see online that they, talk, they will tell you to build hexagons and pentagons and then assemble them together. Guys, it's not the way of uh, doing such structure. As a wall, the uh, um, a home. Let's build one one wall. Let's build the other wall. Then let's elevate walls. I'm talking about uh, brick walls, not uh, wood walls. That is different construction technique. But let's build uh, flat. Um, a brick wall, another brick wall, then elevate them, then join them. No. Uh, brick home is made layer by layer, brick by brick, if it is squared or not squared. Brick, 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 a series of brick, then second layer, a series of brick, third layer, a series of brick. For something that is round, same thing, first layer, second layer, one on top of the other. I will uh, lead you through this technique, the correct one, as you have both this geodesic dome and you have to build it yourself in a kit. Yes, but if I want to build this by myself, how can I join everything? Six, five, and here guys, for the base, just four. One, two, three, four. The base is, is made with four connections. Here you have six connections, here you have five connections. You can use, I don't know, mounting puffy, putty, P U T T Y, that you find commonly, and just simply put uh, some putty paste here and join everything, and what, then you get it. Or you can use modeling clay even very soft when you put it together then it will hard again and etc. Don't take my example of having used some 3D printer to make the joint points because I can. This can also be made by with tape. Just bring some piece of tape here and you can join the three but down and then the three up and then you got your know, everything can be built by common means. I found that I have a printer, a 3D printer, I made some connectors that I will show you in some other, but this can be built easily and you will understand once I will start building. So, struts, segments, hubs, five, uh, five, six, four, and four. This said, let's start with a simple diagram here. If you put 56 centimeter in those calculators, and those calculators are independent from the unit you use. You can use centimeters, meters, uh, leagues, uh, yards, uh, foot, inches, anything you want. You simply need to remember that if you put 56 and this is your unit, the result will be in the same unit. I put 56 in the calculator, I got a result of blue struts length 17.3 centimeters. I use a comma here because in metrics point subdivide thousands commas divides units decimals okay and for the red i got 15.3 centimeters 
So using three, uh, 35 long blue segment struts having a 17.3 centimeters length and 30 short struts, red struts having a length of 15.3 centimeters, I can achieve my dome. So let's remember all along the schematics you will see starting from this one. You will see blue is long for the segment, red is short. Then on the schematics I will show you six ways hubs are blue, five ways connectors or hubs are red. And then four ways connector I make a deal only for the base layer. I don't care about them because I will use once for the initial thing. So the base is 56 centimeters. So between this point and this point you will have 56 centimeters equally from this point to this point. So it's like having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 polygon designed inside a circle, the base simulated. Why I choose the a two ways? Because a two frequency, no more so. Because each segment don't need to be bent. Starting from a three, the a three a, a three frequency, those segments in the last few centimeters or inches need to be bent at a, at a certain with a certain angle. This means having a rounder base, but this is almost a circle. The closest possible to a circle using straight segments, straight struts, okay? Let's check the camera once again. I will talk very long for a very long period in this part 8. So, how will I connect them? For the base, four way connector guys I hope you can see them it's something that I've subdivided in horizontal then with a regular angle having divided it with one two three four and this connector is made because I haven't told you how will I be of this with skewers. This is in scale to use 3 mils, 3 millimeters skewers and I will insert them like that. Okay, you can see that they have an angle because this tends to go downside. This is geometrically this angle here that I represented, okay? This angle here, it is this angle here. Uh, but this putting one beside the other each time and getting them towards connecting them, you get an X, uh, again, a, a 10 uh, side uh, polygon, okay, in this case. So I will have, in this case, the base connecting only the segments that are flat, then those will be used to put some other um, skewers. Then I will use some 5 connectors for those zones here, with like that, 
Okay, guys? And when I have 6, where is the 6? They are here. I will use this one. 6-way connectors. Very roughly done. Minimum uh, possible quality of the printer, but it's being printed with no supports at all. Okay, guys, I'm not here to talk about that. If you want to just tell me and I will explain how I did this. Then, so six there, five, five, and here you will have the, the four ones like, like these guys, okay? Each time, and so on, and it will help me build. But this can be replaced, as I said, by um, uh, mounting putty, uh, clay, tapes, whatever you want, even zip ties, guys, mini zip ties can be done with everything. So, uh, let's put them where they belong, the 6, uh, 4 and the 5. Uh, let's build this before going to that, it's not that difficult. So. 15.3 15.3 guys those are the skewers I cut 15.3 I will need 30 of them okay maybe I have two uh, some more of them let's let me just put some weight inside because some boards because this is too uh, not not uh, that heavy and it will uh, and it will fall down and here I have the 17.3 centimeters. I will use them 35. So some more of them. Same technique. I am getting some bolts inside to add them there. I will need one, two. Let's start with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten long, blue is long, ten long, uh, 17.3 centimeters starts segment. So, let me take this one, no, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I tried to go with the same length as you can see, not easily, not every time it is like that, but this is. Then I will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four ways connectors because I stated here only for the base layer. Let's build the base layer, guys. I will use the first one, then maybe I will go fast forwarding everything. Like that. Then I will take another four ways. Okay, you see what I meant with this, I will need some space, so I will use 10 of them and here you have a flat surface and here you have a flat surface, so it will help me getting exactly the precise angle, so it's starting to look what I want, the first layer. I will do this, because it is simple, then I will explain what comes next. Let me uh, fast forward this. Good! 
this is the base of my dome, guys. I forgot to tell you that I will also use a couple of to get a rounder uh, tip here because when cutting bamboo, those are bamboo skewers, you get a little deformed tip, okay, cutting them. Let me measure inside, guys, always inside. It is 56.5 centimeters. Okay, reasonable because I haven't straightened everything and so the angles may differ a little bit. I can't glue them right now because once finished I will glue them because I need to fix the orientation, you see? They tend to detach sometimes, that's why I will need to glue them at a later time. But the first layer is done, guys. I can accept 0 0.5 centimeters of difference that will be corrected in, in I think, some minutes while once everything will push together. Little pause. Now, schematics. No, I was here. Sorry, guys. So, this check it, okay? This done. Let's see what I have here. Very confusing schematics, I know. Two blue, two red, two blue, two red, etc. Alternate. What does this mean? That I will, starting from this point here, I will get too long and I will place them like that in here. I will, uh, I will pick two red short and I will go this way, putting them there, and so on, and so on, alternating, alternating, okay? Why? Because I need to achieve these schematics in here. Equilateral, isosceles, equilateral, isosceles, okay? So, this means that I will go this way and I will go this way, alternating blue, long and short. I will do this. So, base blue First layer of bricks, first layer of sticks, of skewers, like this. This is second one, let, let, don't, don't look at that. This one, red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. And uh, this is short, okay? So, I will need to start in here with the long one. So, starting from here, long one, 
and long one in here okay like that and you see the first triangle done if I went with long I will go with short here side because I'm right-handed and not left-handed okay you can see that they are not the same age so you can't sorry maybe I will go up there you can't get wrong I taller shorter taller shorter there is a two centimeters difference between this one and this one okay so now I would have put some tape in here if I haven't had those connectors here some tape some glue some putty like that but not permanent at the moment because I need to fix everything so some putty there okay, okay so the base the first wall okay here is the first wall Short, long, short, long, etc. We are sorry for the dust. This is also check it. Okay. Here you will see the difference between this and this. Those are little points. I mark it here. I need to place connectors here. Blue, six way connector, red dot, five way connectors. So I will have the five way connectors connected here with the shortest one. And the six way connectors, the blue ones connected in here, where I have the longest sides. Okay, I will do the first one, I will start with the short one need always to check if inside the printer hasn't made some mistakes and having some uh, re residual filament overlapping I don't think so and I don't care which side this is symmetrical so any of the holes uh, will get right and then the other one like that I will do that. done guys this is the structure with the connectors ending the first story the first level so Oops, these also check it. Now, next step, the difference between here and there is that we have those red segments in here, the shortest one. So it is, in, this is from top, this is from perspective. 
segments B, the shortest one, to connect every single one of the um, of the uh, connectors. This means blue base for the level zero, red base for level two, zero to one, one to two level as the same base here, a circle with the same length, so red. So I will join here, this with this, this with this, all around with shortest 15.3 centimeters um, segments, like that, guys, okay? Good. This, guys, is taking some time, but it is stable, as you can see. It's starting to get very, very stable, okay? And now, oops, more and more difficult. This done, this also done. Next page. Here. First of those, okay? Uh, a little confusing here, but uh, let's see. I have only marked the red ones here. One, two, three, four, five. So where I have the the last um, hole, the last three hole, like in this case here, on the five connectors, I will go with one connector, uh, one strut, sorry, one segment, one short segment, red segment, and then connect it with a six way uh, connector there. Normally, this is, will be the end of the second uh, floor of the second level, the start of the third level. I once again will need a perfect same distance base. That will be a little different because this time will be a star, as you can see. So, I need to go this way, where I have the red, a segment, then a six way here. Good. One, two, three, four, five. And the guys, hope you can see through the dome here. This done. Also, this is done. Uh, very few steps remaining, and the structure is getting there, guys. So now it's just a simple of matter of. Uh, Connect the blue points, guys. The blue dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dots. Okay? And I'm going with blue segments. Blue segments. Okay? So, longest segments. Connecting every blue point. So, I will need for all the connectors that are currently there. I will go from the previous six to the next, previous next, previous next, previous next, previous next, and so on, avoiding to complete. So from the down below up, from those ones up here two, from each one I will go up two. Okay, getting this little star here done. All right. Guys, structure is stable as you can see up now. It can even rotate around, so that means the triangles are applying forces correctly. And then it's structure. Okay? Good. Ah, the page. Done and done. Two more steps, guys, and this will be completed. Here, guys. So, sorry. I had here 
the star is made, then there are still those here, those points that need to be connected. So one, two, three, and four to get a five. One, two, three, four, and five. To get this pentagon here, complete. Good. Our little pentagon guy is here, almost horizontal. That needs some blue, obviously. Not right now, but one, two, three, four, five, almost horizontal because once we reach the uh, this level here, we have horizontal, almost horizontal. So done, done. Let's close the dome. Let's close this pentagon here, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five segments, red segments, short segments. Close it with one red, five waves connector. And voila, guys, the dome is closed, guys. Okay, still need the oops, the light, some glue here and there. Not now, not now, not now but the structure is solid not heavy at all because of the skewers where bamboo is very uh, is very um, light weighted and but this is a good, good structure for my my substitute of the of the tent why i started with this one because i knew the theory, yeah, believe me guys, this is the first time I ever built a, a geodesic a dome. I knew the theory behind it. I didn't, ne I never practiced it in real life, but it's very easy as you have seen. Uh, I was saying this, I knew that dimensions couldn't be exactly precise at the millimeters because I doubt I ever cut one of those um, skewers the same length as the other one. So many adjustments may have occurred. And so first build the dome, then see if the base will fit with the, with the measurements I've already told you, this should be 56 centimeters. Let's hope I can reach the other side with, in this case, let's see if it is still 56, no, it's a little bigger in this case, here you have a 58, let's check another one, yes, 58, it has come bigger than what it was my intention, 58 centimeters instead of 56 centimeters. Let's check this other angle here. Yes, so two centimeters more than my uh, than my uh, um, my my plan. Okay, I knew this could uh, couldn't be precise as I wanted. So from this dome here. I can build the extra space I will need to uh, to put it there and then calculate everything. If it fits with the 53 centimeters, having five centimeters more in there, otherwise I will enlarge somehow everything. But this will be the template on which everything will be built on. And guys, this, it is a see-through. You can easily see through those triangles here. And I will use something transparent to uh, cover everything, maybe triangles by triangle, triangle by triangle, sorry, uh, and then cover it. But this will be one of the many steps I will need to do in the future. 
and then on top of this you will have something <laughs> I can't tell you what I have planned for the top it is the last thing I will do on the circus and so no doors in here no normally you will sacrifice let's say this this triangle here to have this and this one too okay to have uh, this structure here and to have a door in here with something but i don't need a door as this will be superposed on something that will be underneath it the eight here supposedly it would have been 28 centimeters but if i have two more centimeters in the diameter also the eight so this is a 50 no more not 58 no not more no more 56 centimeters but 58 it should have been 20 28 29 now it is almost 30 30 point no sorry i need to go precise without any space it is somehow a little more than 30 centimeters in height the beginning of the three ring circus gods well it is time i started talking about the second feature dedicated to the second victorian era novelist i will start from a strange thing right now i will start from this breadboard yes very strange name nothing to do with a with some bread but it is called anyways a breadboard it is used to test electronic circuits and, and, and also uh, electric circuits but i've simply connected a plus and a minus and then this plus here is connected here this minus here is connected here at pin number 10 this one connected here and 30 to 30 etc so this is positive and all these holes in here at the 10 from this one to this one will be connected to the positive because even every single one of these holes is connected horizontally then a separation and all these holes here are connected to this one that is connected to this one that is connected to minus to negative pole so connected connected then interruption then interruptions etc so if i need to place something i will need to use horizontal lines one day i was thinking what on earth will i use to implement something uh, steampunk related to the second uh, novelist to the second writer even if it is steampunk even this second novelist i need something related to uh, steam or electricity I, I need to remember you that even if they didn't know uh, Edison and was even also an idol for uh, lately for um, steampunk movement as all it is mechanic uh, steam powered electric it is related to steampunk so Edison electricity why not going with something related to electricity for the second feature i know i took it from very 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 distant and let me check with you i have here my classic and uh, um, white crystal clear luminous very bright um, led i will connect the plus to the plus the minus to the minus here in 10 like that and i will connect yes standard Ugh. i ate somehow with no i <laughs> i don't hate it but it's not in particular and look this is not diffused light because you can see here 
the even if I approach even more the little circle that is projecting a cone of light. Okay? Let me do another experiment. Let me use the diffuse LED, the diffuse LED. I will replace this LED here with this other LED. This is diffused light, guys. I don't have a cone, I don't have a, a direct impact light, a, a direct uh, flow of light. It is more diffused. And if you see both of them in action, you will understand that looking directly to this one is disturbing because you have a direct flash, a direct flow, light flow coming towards you. This one is more acceptable. This one is projecting a light, a cone of light. This one will diffuse light. Okay? <laughs> this said, let's continue with what I have in mind. Let's replace the diffuser one here. At some times, because in past I used it to repair even my oldest uh, buildings, my more, small oldest buildings, and if you uh, look at my 2019 uh, Christmas village in the back, in the video, in the back, I have those mini little houses that started everything more than 20 years ago. Um, I also have this one, guys. Clear, transparent, bright, but look what it happens when I connect it here and I switch on. Look, it is a flashing, automatic flashing RG, RGB LED. Changing color, multicolor, automatic LED. So it's like having all all the colors in one blue, red, white, uh, green, yellow, uh, purple but it's very very quick guys it's very quick I don't know frenetic okay pa 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 wa 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 and then once again, pa 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 pa. Not Christmas time. Not as steampunk as I want. But I also have crystal clear, transparent, bright LED. that are slow. Look the difference. Green, these are changed to four colors. White, blue, then white again, then yellow, then I think white, then green, no. It will go with every single color in a cycle, then purple line right now then white again, then goes down towards the blue once again when the cycle is finished. Red, yes, then green, then it would go towards blue when the, all the cycle is done. It's going towards blue right now. Both of them project Cone of light. This one is slow changing, so it has multiple color. This one is frenetic. Definitely, this is my choice. If I would have chosen <laughs> my choice of LED to do something electrical, let me 
detach this one. This is the uh, this is the fast one that goes in there. Okay. This one too intense, guys. Too intense. It doesn't diffuse the light. It's project a cone of light ready already in the camera. It's very disturbing. Too condensed array of light. I need a diffuse changing color LED. Oh yeah, good. The they don't do that. They <laughs> comes only bright pure madness. They don't come with the lens like those one. Look at the difference of the lens. Transparent, crystal clear, foggy, uh, mm, foggy or um, diffusing lens. Okay. <laughs> Will I renounce to that? Will I surrender? No, guys. I will take this little monster here because I will need it. I will take. I will take. I am taking. Okay, some very rough sandpaper. Okay, good, and I will start sending it. Okay, I think it is enough right now. So, I will play. Will it work? Yes, it will work, guys. I can promise you that. I will put it right there, switch on once again. And the light, guys, is no more a cone of light. It is diffused. Let's see the difference. In the hope this is the fast one. Okay, the difference, no more, that ray, the, the ray of that, okay, but more diffuse it. The same LED now diffuses the light, even from the side, guys, it diffuses the light. This one will project the light in a ray, this one will diffuse all around the light. And guys, the properties of those two. Even if I start them at the same time, at a certain moment, they will lose synchronicity. Just, I just need to give them some times, and they will, this one has already started changing different colors, they are no more in sync. This one is reaching the next color before this one and so on they will lose synchronicity at a certain moment this will help me do something cool with them okay let's say i will have a um, certain way a passage of uh, electricity from one to the other one uh, more i will let them go more they will become out of sync. So I will use the diffused one. In which way, guys? <laughs> the, the extension of the second feature will be 
this one 30 centimeters by 24.7 centimeters and now here I mark it some reference point I will need that four reference lines there because I will need them and the LED will be here all around the perimeter because I will have something in the middle and something in the back there okay guys something here and something here not really anything I will switch off this little one for the moment so obviously I need a new type of fence I needed a new type of fence because uh, I print, I think printed it, you know, steampunk is not easy, easily found anywhere, some, this, some steampunk design. I forgot mm -hmm. something, I forget, I forgot the fences, guys. New type of fence, this one, industrial, still the same starting that I used for the uh, Jules Verne uh, feature there with th this eye-shaped uh, stand there but this is going to be electric so I did some little coils in here I did coils, you see that I have coils uh, yes good, well, good design and I also have some ores, maybe for this cable here, like that, connecting each fence to the next one, or maybe for more good looking and having effect, I also have some copper in here, okay, need to be straight but I also can use copper and it stick like copper, like oxidized copper, okay? I don't know, still don't know which one of them, but I told to myself. Okay, fans like that, what if I can get some light into it? What if I can get this one here, on top of here, in some way, okay? In some way. LED simply, yes, like that. Uh, yes, it can be done. Uh, just need to cut everything and get short and then inside and everything else, as I usually do, but... Yes, a simple light like that on top of it. No, I will not use it. Not before designing and 3D printing with a particular filament. I, I will, I have to tell this little one. This is shaped around the first light bulbs from Edison, guys. Edison used to use this. This is pure steampunk and pure Edison style. Those are transparent. You can see through them. If I put some black, you can see through it. So, what will happen? What will happen to the diffused LED like that if I place this one on top of it? It will diffuse even more the light and I can see through it. By night this will be a good effort. Very difficult to achieve this kind of uh, transparency, of translucency with uh, transparent filament. It took me one week of uh, printer adjustments because it's not simple to print uh, with uh, transparent filaments. And this is so I will use this fence in combination with this LED and on top of it this 
I calculated the distance like this, that it will be like that, okay? And inside the LED, more than a fence, a fence that simulate the passage of electricity through it by having those flashing uh, RGB LED inside it and they will lose once I, I switch them on they will have the same color then they will lose synchronicity and I will use one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they are placed fence etc with the wires going uh, through them uh, I will use the same technique I used with the uh, Jourdain feature so I have here the fence I will use a small cables I will use more wires connect the LED getting through here uh, and then I will glue them like that starting from this one then I will go with this other one like that Okay guys, so the first one is done guys, okay, it will diffuse even more with the stop one, I will do 10 of them, then I will place them on the feature all around it, in here, like that, all around, okay, but it's... Okay guys, so a little problem here in the corner, here and there, I had to rearrange everything because two 
it's too steep here the angle is too narrow the angle the corner so it has it had problem and detection now i have some blocks here blockers and uh, i add some more glue but i will need to test it once again here quickly done uh, roughly done the connections with the effect uh, two minutes and you see that they have lost the synchronicity okay and this was the effect i wanted three two uh, yellow green uh, this is changing this is already blue blue dark blue okay this is what i wanted guys not uh LED chasing around, around, around the chasing or the same color, getting all red, all green, all white. No. This difference here, changing color here. Sometimes it gets odd, sometimes it is in sync, like those two. No, now it is only two, no, only one. Okay, sorry, I'm joking, guys. This yeah. is the starting point of the second, of the second team and section dedicated to the second Victorian era novelist writer. And let's see what I can do more for this part eight, but guys, Leave me a comment on how this worked, please. If it's good, if it's not good for you. And the coils here, okay. So, see you. Yes, you guessed it correctly. This is the final recap of part 8 of the 2022 series. And that little thing there was still on another table some minutes ago as I did just a preliminary work on the new feature, the feature that will be dedicated to the second uh, Victorian era novelist. And I will be quiet regarding the name, the team, or the book. Maybe a little more closer with the lights changing color. I don't know if you can appreciate this in plain light maybe i will go in plain dark for a moment so you can appreciate everything this is the effect in darkness in plain darkness with all the lights diffused, and you can see you have diffusion of lights, green, everything is diffused. Some shadows, of course. Uh, the one in the back there isn't connected very well, so it tends to detach sometimes because I've done a very rough job on the connection of every wires. But once they will get connected correctly, those will shine. And maybe on the camera it isn't getting correctly the camera, but I can assure you that. This is the effect I wanted, guys. So in plain dark, it's working. Let me switch on the lights once again. Plain light, guys. I'm just picking up my mic once again. Okay. And... The second feature will be the, a little smaller than the previous one. But I can't get into everything gigantic. Hey, Jay, not seen you in two days. How are you, Jay? Sorry? Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No time to advance on my new building. Not revealing yet what it is. Next time I will do some work on it. It has been an intense work, uh, uh, mainly doing uh, the... Um, the lights there. I finished printing that little things yesterday night, more this morning, uh, very, very, very early, 2 a.m., 4 a.m. maybe. And so nothing was tested, guys. Everything has been done 
in real time. Uh, not even once. I didn't test it, <laughs> nothing once. So that's why I spent a lot of time. I haven't shown you all the process of doing all the 10 of them, but a couple of LED were defective. So I did a couple, I did twice a couple of those supports guys. It happens. And this is a lesson, always test your LED before connecting, soldering and gluing everything. This is what you have already seen. And that guys is the geodesic dome in place with some support underneath and the modification of the layout I added this piece here. Why not going completely to the border? Because here I will have another stairs. So that stairs, the main stairs here, another stairs all along here. It would be a long stairs, allowing me to add maybe a platform to admire also the train in here. So just came to me like that. I have some more space here to uh, adjust here. Maybe I will uh, um, may make a prolongation of this uh, platform here to gain another five to 10 centimeters here in space. And the dome guys is there. It's very tall guys. I know it is very tall, but this will not be the final position. It will be certainly at this eight here. So even taller with something more steampunk behind it and maybe some arcs there. This will be on top of some arcs. So steampunk circus, revolutionary circus, also no tents, N nothing is hided guys, all is visible. Revolutionary three ring circus, my three rings in there. Sorry, I also got this one that is the original measurement, 25 centimeters of diameter. I will not use them, but 21. So motor uh, rotating uh, platform for next time. Uh, I still needed to check if I still have a motor. Yes, I think I will have a motor and then as a tent here, some lights here and there, obviously to illuminate the inside, some LED hide uh, behind those little connectors here, some LED projecting the lights to illuminate the inside, to get light inside. And then all the triangles will be covered with a transparent material to, uh, to get very steampunk. And then, something more on top of this in four four parts i think i don't know i'm working real time here uh, to give that an aspect uh, um, even more uh, steampunk aspect and then on top of this here on top on the very top something exaggerate something strange something as i told you a little dangerous and i will explain this maybe not in next part but in two parts okay uh yes i want to live dangerously guys bye and once again you have the proof that my craziness is limitless guys but uh, six days ago i was still panicking guys because eight months ago, I made a statement. My 2022 Christmas village will be focused on a three ring circus. I spent many months modeling and 3D printing figurines. And then, and then the steampunk occurred. And the steampunk is taking so much space. And the steampunk and traditional circus don't go well together. Should I renounce to the circus? Absolutely not. But Monday, still blackout. Tuesday, still blackout. Then Tuesday evening after I came home from work, it started to get there 
because uh, I get a look to an old book uh, about uh, construction material and triangles. Let's go with triangles, guys. And so, yes, I knew the theory, guys. I can't deny it. I love triangles everywhere. You have triangles in my works because it gets structures very solid, very hyperstatic, guys. This is hyperstatic, even if it, nothing is glued. Hyperstatic, what is hyperstatic? It's something that won't move in any case, even applying forces, guys. Um, you have seen that just the with the first layer here, nothing was perfectly solid, nothing was stable. Once I continued adding more connection and more hyperstaticity, this came with a grid, a grid building. <laughs> Everything done in real time, nothing planned, 12 hours, not shown on camera, uh, the cutting everything else, and these guys. The, the last minute twist. Half an hour ago, when I put this there, it was still here the first time. Yes, tw half an hour ago. Then I said, what? No, I need another stair. So let's cut another piece there. And this came out a good solution to have a stairs with a platform, as I stated. Yes, I will answer to some space for attraction in here, but I will compensate that with something else. This will go up, etc. <laughs> Sorry, guys, uh, the adrenaline is still pumping right now. But this is what I did for this part 8, even if you judge it not enough, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and only, and only if you wish, see you next time.